making a big mistake, Sheriff. I'm the Lone Stranger, champion of justice and nemesis of crime. You wearing a mask, big boy. That's good enough for me. If you don't believe me, ask my faithful Indian companion over there. What about it, bub? He's just a Lone Stranger to me. You got the right to remain silent and to make one call. One call? Good. Hi-ho, Silverman. You calling your hoss? No, my lawyer. These criminals don't fool me none. I can spot them a mile away. Drop that iron, Grandpa. You hear? But, but, I, but, but, but. Quit butting, you old goat, and get moving. I'm taking you in. Believe me, when I say I'll run a peaceful law-abiding town, you can bank on it. Get it? Bank. A little Western humor there. <laughs> Sheriff! Sheriff, the bank's been robbed! All right, Pratt, simmer down, boy. I'll get your money back. Which way'd they go? They, they went that away. Then I'll go this way. What? I gotta get my horse, don't I? Doggone bankers. All they think about is money. And who doesn't? Hey, Fester, drop your hocks and grab your socks, boy. We gotta move. Ain't no use yelling, Mr. Clute. I gotta stay in bed, cause I got no shoes. No shoes? How in ding blazes did that happen? Well, last night, I took them off like I always do and put them at the foot of my bed. And dang, nabbit, somebody stole them. We ain't got no time to be jawing about no shoes. We gotta catch us some bank robbers. Now let's go, boy. Just a dead burn minute, Mr. Clute. I ain't gonna tiptoe through no cactus barefoot with my delicate tender tootsies, less than you come up with some new horseshoes. All right, come on. Oh, no. Remember, tender tootsies. Oh, you <laughs> Giddy up, Mr. Clute. I hear the playing horsey back before, but this is ridiculous. Let's try this here shoe. I'll nail it on and see if it fits. Golly gee, how's fat, Mr. Clute? I got sensitive feet. If it bothers you so much, don't look. If I don't look, dang it, how'll I know when it's time to start suffering? <laughs> now, what you going to do that for? I was scared, Mr. Clute. You stupid critter, wait here. Hey, you boy, you see a horseshoe fly out here? I sure did. Is it yours? Yep, sure is. In that case, I'll be glad to return it to you. You under arrest, boy. Right after my siesta. Now this time, you keep your leg down, you hear? Yes, Mr. Clute. Talk on it anyhow. Hey, you, boy. You see a horse fly out here? As a matter of fact, yeah. Is it yours? You guessed it. In that case, I'll be glad to return it to you. Did you mean something personal when you did that, boy? Well, you know the old saying, if the horse fits, shoo it. I like the one that goes, don't look a gift horse in the mouth. <laughs> if you don't get off me quick, I'm going to give a gift horse a punch in the mouth, you hear? Okay, there. Up on your feet, horse. See how that shoe feels. Tell you the truth, Sheriff. It just don't feel right, and no wonder. You got the darn thing on backwards. That's because you were standing the other way around when I put it on, you dumb horse. Now I gotta take it off again. Heck fire. Just leave it on, Mr. Clute. I'll learn to walk backwards. Stick out your foot, horse. Well, I'll be ding-donged if that ain't the handsomest horseshoe I ever did see.
By Jingo, I'll take it. Don't bother to wrap it. I'll wear it. There, by gum. How's it look, Mr. Clute? Hey, it's got me. That horseshoe's bewitched. Help me, Mr. Clute. <laughs> Shucks. Now I got this here anvil stuck to my foot. Serves you right for gluing a magnet on it. I'll get loose. <laughs> you in a blacksmith shop full of trouble, boy. Hey, Sheriff, help me get this anvil off my foot. This is a good time to take my vacation. Well, there's one way to get rid of it. I'll kick it off. <laughs> is in for a feed bag full of trouble. Okay, horse, get moving. We got a parcel of bank robbers to catch. If any of the horses down at the OK Corral get wind of this, I'll be the laughing stock of the prairie. <laughs> <laughs> 